Okay, this is going to be a fast video on this new dashboard cluster. I discovered in reading the Nissan uh, service manual that you can put these in diagnostic mode and actually test the gauges. Uh, what you need to do is turn the keto auxiliary, put your uh, odometer trip setter to trip set, and then this will be the hard part of the videotape, I guess. When you turn the car off and turn it on again, hold it down. If you look close, you'll see it go to 0, 0, 0, 0 and then press it five times. And now you're in diagnostic mode. In which case, in diagnostic mode, the gauges will all go to a certain location when you press the odometer button. That location is roughly where the speedometer and the um, RPM needle are now. The gas gauge will, will take will take about a minute. Oh, it's me hitting the wipers. Will take about a minute to stabilize. And you can see it's going up there. As you can see over here, the temperature gauge is not moving at all. That gauge should be up like these are, pointing to the left. And as you can see when I let go, they drop down and the gas gauge starts dropping as well. And now it comes back up and I hold it down. So, I've effectively tested this dash and I'm pretty certain that the temperature gauge itself is bad on this dash. There is other testing that can be done uh, such as testing the voltage from the the uh, one particular wire on the back of the dash plug. Uh, I haven't done that yet, nor have I tested the thermal transmitter. Like I said, I had no problem with that before. And uh, this was my first step in troubleshooting. And I'm getting no response from the temperature gauge. Every other gauge is responding properly, so... I'm going to have to say that the temperature gauge is bad, but I wanted to be thorough and tested. So anyway, I just wanted to pass this along. Thanks for listening.